Hello everybody, welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. We're in the final world of the game, the world that never was. Last time we went through Twilight Town, found out that there was a fake Twilight Town that Roxas was being held in at the beginning, and Axel ended up killing himself, uh, taking out a bunch of nobodies for us. So I mentioned earlier that every member of Organization 13 has like a nobody counterpart that represents them. Axel's nobody counterpart are the assassins that we fought like really early in the game and like in the middle. The ones that can hide in the ground and then slash you repeatedly. As well as those guys are also capable of killing themselves in an attempt to kill you, which is rather fitting I would say. And then we got Axel's Keyblade, which is the Bond of Flame, which gives you 4 strength and 4 magic and gives you the ability Fire Boost. That's actually a very good Keyblade, we're not going to equip it right now, but we're going to find a good use for that in just a little bit. Anyhow, I don't think we have any more new abilities. Instead of Magnera here... Actually, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep Magnera. Oh yeah, we talked to Dalton the last time. Let's continue on for this weird city. <laughs> Fragrant Crossing. <laughs> And I'll say this, if you haven't uh, leveled up Wisdom Form yet, this is a very good place to level up Wisdom Form, because there's like an obscene amount of shadows that appear here. Yeah. Take that. Yeah, they just like keep on coming, so... This is a lot of basically free Wisdom Form experience, because you're killing a Heartless, killing one of these Shadow Heartless in Wisdom Form gives you one experience point. Ooh, hey, a chest. A Mithril Stone, nice. I like getting Mithril, mithril materials in chests, because they're kind of a pain in the butt to farm. As you can tell, you can't get mineral materials through enemy drops, you can only get them by synthesizing them in the mineral shop. Although they are easier to get in this than they were in Kingdom Hearts 1. In Kingdom Hearts 1, if you wanted mineral shards, you had to basically kill a lot of pot spiders, and they had like a 0.1% chance to drop them. In this chest, we get a Mithril Crystal. Nice! AP boost! Hey! That's always nice. Alright, more magic. Also, we're on the final world of the game and we're not even halfway to reaching max level. That tends to be the way of King Hearts games. Then this chest has Aura Calpin. Look at all these shadows. And this is where we're seeing the power of the explosion. Alright, now we're about to head into a Final Mix exclusive boss fight. It's the only boss fight that was added to Final Mix that is required to do in order to beat the game. And it is, in my opinion, the hardest required fight in the game, so we're gonna have to prepare. Uh, I need more AP. I want to put on those combo pluses. Let's use some AP boosts. Yeah, I'm gonna equip the combo pluses. This will make our power our combos really, really powerful. Alright. Now what I'm actually going to do is if I go in there, because as soon as I enter that room, the boss fight is going to trigger, and it's a very difficult boss fight, I will most likely die on it. If I die, I will have to go for this entire room again, kill all the enemies, get all the chests, and refit my abilities. So instead, I'm going to go back to the first room. <laughs> 
the alley to the tween. There we go. Now the enemies shouldn't respawn. All the chests will be saved, and now I don't have to do all of that again if I do die to this boss. Because this boss is very difficult, and this is also the boss where you're going to see just how broken Reflaga is. Because I mentioned when I got Reflect that Reflect was the best magic spell in the game, and I haven't used it all that much. Or that's about to change. Anyhow. In the original game, this was just a cutscene boss. Final Mix made it into a full-on boss. This is a cool world. Sorry! Donald! Goofy! Huh? Come on, you guys can deal with them. A keyblade? Who is this? So here's the boss fight. We've seen those Keyblades before. We are fighting Roxas. Yeah, so at the end of the last video, the organization members are, because Axel died, perhaps he will awaken. So this is basically Roxas awakening and Sora's heart reacting to Axel's death. And now we have to fight him. And look at how much damage that replica did. Yeah, this is a fight where you're gonna need the, oh boy, wow. You are already going into your desperation. All right. This is a very annoying move. This is why we kind of wanted to level up uh, Wisdom Form. Quick run can get us past that. Yeah, now Roxas is just spamming Light Beams everywhere he goes, which is very annoying to deal with. Oh boy. Take this. Ouch. Yeah, Roxas is powerful. I couldn't enter a limit form fast enough. Oh no, enemies do respawn. But I've opened all the chests and I'm not fighting them again. Yeah, the Roxas fight is really difficult. Like, you've got to basically memorize his attack pattern and use Refligas to fight him off. So we'll always start the battle by doing this. You can throw out a reflect, get a full combo on him, and then we're going to use another ref with that. Darn it. Keep hitting the revenge value early. Oh, fun. I hate this move of his. It's long, and you can't damage him during it. Did I mention it's long? Wow, it would, like, not let me heal. There's also a reaction command you can get where you can steal his keyblade, but it's actually, like, not good to do that. Really? Fine, just hit me. Whatever. See what I... Thankfully... Wow! Thankfully, Limit Form will give you back your... HP every time you hit them, you know, limit. Take that! Wow, okay. He dies faster than I thought. And we get a Final Mix exclusive ability now, Combo Master. Which is really good. And, uh, actually, Combo Master is like the one ability that would make this fight really easy. Take that, Roxas. Epic music, too. Tell me why he picked you. And how did you get Oathkeeper? That's my keyboard. <laughs> Roxas's element is light, in case you didn't know. 
I see. That's why. Seek answers. You feel nothing. Nothing is real. I can give you purpose. right, the new you. Look who's finally awake. <gasps> Axel! Or, maybe I have it wrong. Might be time to sleep. Soon we won't be able to talk like this anymore. Does that mean it's time for me to go back to where I belong? You know, I've been thinking about something Namine said. Roxas, are you really sure that you don't have a heart? Is it possible that we all have one? You, me, her? Or is that just wishful thinking? I don't know. I can't just look inside. Yeah, I guess not. But I figure if there is something in there, inside us, then we'd feel it, wouldn't we? And if so... No, never mind. Come on, don't leave me hanging. Sora will find the answer we're looking for. I know he will, because he's me. <laughs> True enough. Uh, thanks. Man, I miss the old times. Still got it memorized. The day we met, when you got your new name, you and I sat right here and watch the sunset. Yeah. This place is home. Me, Hayner, Pence, Olette. We've shared a lot of adventures. You'll see them again. I know you will. Yeah. You're right. Well, I should go. Sora's waiting for me. Yeah, I suppose he is. Man, this is some good ice cream, huh? Take care, okay? Right back at you. Buddy.
You make a good other. You make a good other. Are you okay? What just happened? Gorge, I don't know. You just disappeared. Then me and Donald had to fight some nobodies. Oh, he said he defeated Riku. Who said that? That guy in the black coat. But nobody can defeat Riku. What are you talking about, Donald? I beat him like six times in the span of Kingdom Hearts 1 and Chain of Memories. <laughs> you, yeah, you're right. A black coat means Organization 13. He must have been trying to trick you. Yeah, that must be why we didn't see him. Huh? You must be tired, Sora. Come on, let's just find a way to get into that castle. Yeah, so in the original game, it just skipped over that boss fight entirely and skipped straight to the cutscene right after the fight. Final Mix is what added the boss fight entirely. And here, this is another Final Mix exclusive Keyblade. This is Two Become One. Actually, this is like one of only two Final Mix exclusive Keyblades, and we don't have the other one. A weapon of great strength and magic that has a special effect. Very, uh, interesting title. This is kind of like the Roxas Keyblade. I'll get more into that later. And we get Secret Ansem Report number eight. Memories Skyscraper. This is a cool place. All right, so there is there is a lot there. Oh, hey, Neo Shadows. So a lot kind of happened there. Basically, in, so in Kingdom Hearts 1, when Sora freed Kairi's heart from his own heart, uh, that cr that created the cost him to become a heartless, and that created Roxas as his nobody. And then uh, the leader of Organization 13 found him, uh, got him to join the organization, and yeah, he met Axel and they became friends. And then eventually Roxas ditched the organization for unknown reasons. Seemingly because he wanted to know why he was the Keyblade's chosen one. So I'll get a little into the uh, special Keyblade, because at this point we now have the ability to get the final drive form. So the final drive form you don't just unlock, but rather after, if you're playing Final Mix, after defeating Roxas here, or if you're playing the original version after you see the cutscene there when you fight Roxas, you are capable of unlocking the final drive form. However, it is random whether you unlock it. In order to use it, basically you have to randomly, you have to enter a drive form, and there's a very small chance that you'll enter the secret drive form instead. And once you enter it the first time, you can then go into it any time you want, provided you have enough drive. The problem is unlocking it. In the original version, most people never even saw it because the chance of entering it was very, very low, and you didn't have the ability to enter it until very close to the end of the game. However, this is where the Keyblade we just got comes in handy. So this is to become one. It has five strength and four magic, which is very, very good. This is a very good stat Keyblade, and it comes with the ability Light and Darkness. What this does, basically, is when you have this Keyblade equipped, when you enter a Drive Form, you will either and you are guaranteed to either enter Anti Form or the Final Drive Form, and it increases the chances that you will enter the Final Drive Form when you have this equipped. So, after you unlock the Final Drive Form, it kind of sucks, because it's basically just like... A, 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 <laughs> it basically makes it so that you almost always enter anti-form. And anti-form sucks. I mean, if you really like anti-form, then, I mean, sure, it's great. However, this keyboy basically exists to unlock the final drive form, which we are going to do. But first, a treasure chest. And it has an AP boost. Oh, that reminds me. We also got the Combo Master ability, which is incredibly good. Combo Master, unleash a combo whether or not your hit lands. So this means you can whiff attacks and still complete your combo, and I'm also going to unequip these combo pluses. So I need two AP boosts. Yeah, Combo Master, that's really, really good. And that would be like the best ability to have against the Roxas fight, because that this basically allows us to chain Refligas into hits and then spam Ref Refliga even more, and it just racks up an insane amount of damage. Mithril Crystal, alright. One more chest. 
Oh shoot, I shouldn't have killed all the enemies here. Doggone it. Oh well. Nobody Castle is also like a spaceship. There's gotta be a path somewhere. Oh, don't worry, guys. Pluto's here to save the day. Hey, jerk. What are you going to do with us? You're the fire that feeds Sora's anger. You came all the way just to say that? No. What a crud bug. Sora's in danger because of me. Kyrie, you're skinny enough to just move through those bars. <laughs> girl has returned. <laughs> Similarly, Namine is Kyrie's nobody. For when she, uh, I don't know if, she, if Namine was created when Kyrie lost her heart on Destiny Islands or when Sora unleashed her heart in Hollow Bastion, but yeah, she's Kyrie's no way. <laughs> Do it, Sora. Do it. Well, I don't know how that makes sense, but all right. <laughs> Kyrie, we're almost there. Uh-uh, I'm unlocking the final drive for him, first of all. The Brink of Despair. All right, Moogle Shop. We can buy the Wisdom Wand, a staff with great magic and strength, yes please. The Knight Defender, a shield with great strength used solely for attacking, uh, yes please. All right, that's it. Hand it over all synthesis materials, we get an AP boost for completing the collection, and we hand over all recipes and stock. All right, yeah, the ultimate weapon, we need 13 Oracalcum Pluses, 1 Oracalcum, 1 Mithril Crystal, 1 Dense Crystal, 1 Twilight Crystal, and then 3 Serenity Crystals. I mentioned earlier that there are only 7 Oracalcum Pluses in the entire game, and we need 13. That's because we need an Energy Crystal in order to have the amount of materials needed. Save the King, save the Queen. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, I can make both of these. Sweet. Petite Ribbon slightly increases all resistances and extremely increases defense. That's a good piece of uh, equipment. And we get the Moon Amulet. Highly increases strength and magic and also greatly increases maximum AP. Sounds pretty good to me. Ooh, and we can make another one. Yes, please. The Star Charm highly increases strength and magic and drastically increases maximum AP. Ooh, yeah. That's a good one. Oh, we can make another Mage Earring, too. Slayer Earring highly increases maximum AP and magic and also increases strength. That's pretty good. Ooh, the Mithril Rain. Ooh, that can become the Oracalcum Rain. Uh, if only I could use all of these. Oh well. And we get the Oracalcum Rain. Increases magic and drastically increases maximum AP. Serenity Shard and Energy Shard. Now here we get the Blizzard Gun Armlet. Highly increases Blizzard Defense and greatly increases defense. Wow, we were able to make a lot. Ooh, extra defense boost. Oh, wait, hang on. No, we can. Sweet. 
And we get the power boost increases strength by one. Yes. Oh man, we were able to make a ton of recipes. Sweet. All right, <laughs> that was a lot. Goofy, you have the Nobody Guard, which is better than the Knight Defender. And then Donald also has a better version of the Wisdom Wand in the form of the Shaman's Relic. There's no point in pu putting that on him. Mage Earring. The Slayer Earring. And no thanks. I'll give him the or uh, the Orichalcum Ring, though. That'll give him an extra AP. I'm going to put on the Petite Ribbon for Sora. So the ribbons are really good because they give you a good amount of defense. They give you elemental resistance to every category. And they also just give you neutral resistance, which will lower your uh, damage from, like, everything. So that's... <laughs> ribbons are very good pieces of armor for some reason. Eh, yeah, that's pretty good. I'll give him the boys a gun armlet. Yeah, that looks good. Oh wait, hang on. I'm giving Sora the star charm. That was a big menu. All right. Okay. In this chest, we get, surprise, surprise, the Dark City map. Then there's a chest over here, which gives us another Oracalcum Plus. So we now have four of them. Actually, no. Wait, hang on. No, that was our fifth Oracalcum Plus. There are only two left in the game. Here, take the Oracalcum Plus I just had. All right. Now we are going to unlock the final drive form. And because I killed all of the enemies in the last room, we're going to leave and then come right back to respawn them. And you'll notice that everybody's walking around here. This sure is a strange world. The moon even looks like a heart. Come on, we've not only moment a path to the castle. Let's go rescue Kyrie. <laughs> you can bet Organization 13 will be waiting for you in that castle. I don't need to tell you how powerful they are. Don't let your guard down. Where did you come from, Mickey? <laughs> that castle's the enemy's headquarters. It's probably swarming with nobodies. They're tough opponents, but they all have weaknesses. Try to find them out. Thanks, Goof. So what we're going to do is we're going to enter this room, spawn the enemies, enter Valor form, and then leave. And because we've got the two become one Keyblade, this is pretty much always going to spawn us in Anti form. However, every time we enter Anti form, that'll decrease the chances of us going into Anti form. So basically, the more we enter Anti form, the greater the chance we're going to enter the final drive form. Alright, yep. So that's our first anti form, and because everyone's walking around in here, we get all our drive back, so we can just keep on doing this. There's anti form again. Anti form for a third time, alright. There's literally no better time to unlock the final drive form than right here. Let's go. Here we go! So this is the final drive form, which is fittingly called Final Form. It basically takes the best aspects of every other drive form and combines them into one. So we've got white clothes now, we dual wield keyblades like in Valor form, our magic is stupidly powerful in this form, like, to an absurd degree, like even more so than Wisdom and Master form. Uh, like Master Form, basically everything is an aerial combo. We kind of move around like we do in Wisdom Form, where we kind of skate around. And the growth ability for Final Form is Glide. And also, basically everything is an attack in Final Form. So you can see, like, just by gliding, I was damaging enemies. Even using a potion counts as an attack that can hit enemies. It's crazy. Final Form requires you to have two party members that are both alive in order to enter it, and it also takes five... <laughs> drive gauges in order to enter. Alright, 
well, we don't want to lose all that drive. Alright, so now that we've done that, I am going to re-equip Decisive Pumpkin as our main keyboard, and I am going to put Bond of Flame as our final form keyboard, because I mentioned that magic is stupidly overpowered in final form. Final form Fyraga, in particular, might be the most broken fiend in the whole game. Like, a single final form Fyraga when you're high enough level will insta-kill anything. At least in terms of common enemies, even the souped-up super enemies in, like, the bonus dungeons. And on top of that, uh, Final Form Fyraga can obliterate bosses. <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah, Final Form. Final Arcania, handling the keyboard of great skill, unleashes a powerful finishing combo move to a single target. Final Strike, Final Arts, all of this. Mobile action, actions will be enabled while moving. Glide level 1, Sync Blade. And we also get another MP haste while we're in here. Now... To level up Final Form, you need to kill nobodies while you're in Final Form. You level up Wisdom Form by defeating Heartless, you level up Final Form by defeating nobodies. Which is a little trickier. And now at this point, we are able to max out all our Drive Gauges. If we want to. However, I... I think that's all the time we have for this episode. I know most of it was just kind of grinding and explaining stuff in a very long cutscene. Sorry about that, but I'm trying to keep these at around a half hour apiece. Tune in next time, we will be entering the World That Never Was Fortress, which is the Nobody's Hideout, the Organization 13's headquarters. And we're going to meet some, uh, well, we, I think we've already seen them. We have seen all the Organization 13 members, but maybe we'll fight one or two. Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.